Now let's see about DRDO. So DRDO, I think, is a dream job for many people, and it is easy to get into DRDO through Gate. Okay, so they are taking through Gate now. Uh, so they have uh, the post of scientist B. See uh, what happens in uh, DRDO is, um, or many in many of the uh, PSUs where they are taking scientist positions, they have scientist B, then C, then D, then E. So when you join, you will be joining as B and gradually every year or every two years, you are going to uh, have an appraisal and depending on your performance, you know, yearly performance, they are going to uh, hike your salary as well as position from B to C, C to D like that, okay. So I have actually done a video about uh, DRDO, life at DRDO. Um, you can just watch it okay so I, there is a video zoom call i made a zoom call with uh, one of the uh, drdo employees you can just watch it okay so now uh, how are they selecting is so first they are going to see the gate score and depending on the gate score they are going to call you for a written test which is a descriptive written test okay it is a, not an online test it is an offline test pen and paper model Okay, and it is a descriptive exam. So descriptive exam means you have to actually write the solution. It is not objective. Okay, and then you are going to have after that you are going to have a personal interview. Okay, so after uh, so are you getting this? So there will be a written test and then there will be an interview. But you will be called for written test and interview only if you have certain gate score. Okay, so what are the eligible uh, criteria? Eligibility criteria is one is you are supposed to have first class degree in bachelor's which means you are supposed to have 60 percent 60 percent in your btech okay and the second is um, you should have a valid gate score okay so valid gate score and uh, if you have a very good sc uh, gate score then uh, the chances are that you will get selected for the written test okay so generally they look at a gate score of 650 but it, it is it is not always the same every year it keeps on varying from year to year so we can't actually say that it is going to be 650 every time but last time it happened that way okay now for those who are from iits and nits they don't have any gate requirement they need to have 80 uh, percent in their uh, btech then they will be directly called okay and the application fee is just 100 rupees you can you can apply and coming to the exam so you are going to have two papers okay so you are going to have two papers and each paper each paper will be of 300 marks paper one and paper two you have and in each paper you are going to have 300 marks and each paper is for three hours so paper one is for three hours and paper two is for three hours okay so the syllabus is given in the website i'll tell you about the syllabus also and the exam is actually conducted in only seven centers in india last year it has been conducted only in seven centers uh, but this year in general uh, they are planning to extend it so if there are a lot of students from a particular place they want to extend the conduct the exam in that particular city also right so but basically you can expect that uh, either the exam will be in bangalore or chennai delhi or Hyderabad, Kanpur, Kolkata and Pune. So these are the places. Okay. And there will be two papers. So in paper one, you have engineering mathematics. And in engineering mathematics, we have linear algebra. So almost the uh, syllabus is same. But only thing that is actually added is, uh, you know, trans four Fourier transforms, DCT and wavelets, which are not there in the uh, gate syllabus. But we will do these topics, uh, you know, when the notification is out, I will do these topics, okay, on YouTube so that you will be prepared for the exam. And coming to calculus, so everything is almost same as uh, our gate, gate syllabus, but there are few things that are added. So one is uh, vector calculus. So in vector calculus, we have curl, integral theorems divergence gradient all this these are simple concepts only not very difficult concepts but when the notification is out we'll do these topics and coming to probability again we have almost the gate syllabus only so other than that we are going to have information theory so shannon entropy we have so entropy means the impurity so anyway we'll discuss it okay 
and we have conditional information so we have two three topics extra we'll do this okay once the uh, notification is out and coming to discrete mathematics so we have uh, almost uh, the same syllabus which is there in gate okay and digital logic is same as gate syllabus and co is same as gate syllabus and programming and data structures is same as uh, gate syllabus and only uh, one extra thing that is added in programming in data structures is object oriented uh, basics so anyway we are doing object oriented principles in java as well as c++ so that will be covered right and coming to uh, algorithms the syllabus is same so algorithm syllabus is same as uh, gate syllabus you don't have to prepare anything extra and coming to paper 2 in paper 2 we have a lot of uh, uh, computer science subjects only so one is compiler design the syllabus is going to be same in operating systems there is uh, one more topic added which is virtual machines so virtual machines we don't have any problems on it so we have to discuss about theory only so what is a virtual machine and there is something some concept called as a virtual box okay so so sandbox they are also called as sandboxes so we have to discuss about those we'll discuss when the once the notification is out and then we have secure operating systems so which is nothing but uh, security in operating systems we don't have this concept in gate but it is a very small concept it will take i, I think two, two to three hours to finish okay so we'll do that once the notification is out and in, the, in theory of computation we have exactly the same syllabus as gate we don't have anything extra in databases also we have the same same syllabus as uh, gate okay and computer networks everything is same but uh, wi-fi is added okay so basics of wi-fi is there so they have clearly mentioned it as basics of wi-fi so one or two hours of classes will be sufficient for it and coming to security cyber security is a extra subject which is not in gate okay so we will have to do this entire course and this course might take uh, i think 20 hours so in 20 hours of this course we will be able to finish all the topics okay and coming to ai and ml only basics are given so which can be done okay so what i'll do is let the notification come out i will do all these extra topics on youtube so that you will be ready for the exam okay and what is the selection selection criteria for drdo is so 80 percent of the weight is is given for the written test okay in the written exam your marks will be given 80 percent of the weight is and 20 percent is given to the personal interview okay so basically you need gate score but once you uh, once you actually once they select uh, for the written test gate score is not seen anywhere your performance in written test so which means even if your rank is gate rank is 1 or gate rank is 100 it doesn't matter okay so once the cutoff is uh, crossed again you have to prove yourself in the written test and the interview right so this is again one more chance for you okay and the pay, pay scale is so the base the base is 56000 but along with that they are going to give some allowances so come with every allowance with all the allowance together you are going to get it as 80,000. So 80,000 rupees per month is what you are going to get. But this is the last year's, uh, you know, pay scale. And this year it will be revised. Okay, it will be increased. And how they how they take the students for uh, interview is they are going to see various factors like how many vacancies are there and the number of applicants and the difficulty of the exams. So all that. So if you do well in written test, you will get interview call and if you do well in interview also you will get uh, you know job but the main uh, weightage is given to the written test okay so prepare well for written test okay so that's all about uh, drdo okay next we will see the next uh, psu okay my name is Ravindra Babu Rawala and I'll be teaching all the subjects of computer science okay and I have done my masters from IISC Bangalore I was uh, two times two digit ranker not a great achievement but yeah <laughs> and if you want my gate classes you can register on an academy app and uh, if you want 10% discount on whatever you register on an academy use the code rrcs okay so my code is rrcs if you want the gate classes the fee is after discount if you use my code is 27000 for one year and 36,000, 39,600 for 
two years okay so if you are from let's say second year then or third year go for two year subscription if you are in final year you can take one year subscription now there are two kinds of packages available so one is called uh, iconic so let's talk let's talk about plus first so one is called plus and the other one is iconic you can either go for plus or iconic now in plus you are going to get all the video lectures doubt clearing as well as test series and lot of quizzes will be there and coming to iconic you are going to be assigned a mentor and he is going to mentor you in all the uh, subjects so either personally or you know related to subjects and he will give you the study plan and whenever you are demotivated or not doing well in the test series he will help you out okay it is kind of hand holding so you can go for iconic if you want a mentor okay and generally these mentors are uh, last year rankers who are already doing masters or uh, you know those who are those who have already done their masters generally the rankers will be the mentors okay so that is all about uh, iconic and plus and this you can register for gate classes on an academy or i will also be teaching um, competitive programming on an academy if you want to register for competitive programming you can register the same way rrcs for 10 percent discount Okay, and in future, I'll be starting machine learning as well. I'll keep you updated. Thank you.